The seasons turn quickly in Washington. A Bush era hawk is back in frame. Nearly five months ago, I nominated John Bolton to be America's ambassador to the United Nations. This time, he's replacing General H.R. McMaster as national security advisor. So new boss, new brief, and fresh from his meeting with the president, perhaps a new vision for American foreign policy. Despite the view of many people at the end of the Cold War that we had come to the end of history, uh, unfortunately we haven't, and uh, it's important for the United States to, to uh, protect its uh, civilian population, protect its alliances, protect its economy, so there'll be a lot of work to do. Does that mean more conflict, potentially? Uh, I, I think that's uh, something we want to avoid, and that, I think, is why the way the president has approached this very much in, along the line of Ronald Reagan of peace through strength is important, that the way, the way, the surest way to avoid conflict uh, is to have a strong military capability. As the ancient Romans used to say, si vis pacem, parabellum. If you want peace, prepare for war. The former U.S. ambassador to the U.N. still believes in the wisdom of the Iraq war and has advocated for military action against Iran and North Korea. His appointment was met with immediate acclaim and criticism. Well, I'm concerned because it seems like Trump is seeking these advisors who won't push back when he tries to make difficult or even dangerous decisions, if he tries to withdraw from trade agreements, if he tries to rip up the Iranian nuclear deal, if he tries to start a conflict with Iran or with North Korea. But importantly for the president, he shares his muscular vision of America. We're extremely proud of what we've been able to do. When it comes to our military, our military will be far superior than to any military anywhere in the world. That's very important for us. You see the players out there. You see what we're dealing with. Critics claim the president is building a wartime cabinet. His opinionated new recruit insists all that matters now is what the president says. Cordelia Lynch, Sky News, Washington.